Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming something very exciting and I know I say that in like a lot of my videos but I'm just personally very excited to film this. So basically the concept of this video is me recommending to you guys the perfect fragrances for your 20s. Now I know I'm going to get this comment, I just already know it. Obviously fragrance has no age range whatsoever. I'm personally 20 and I wear like vintage fragrances. Like I am steering much more towards like Coco from Chanel, Chanel number no. five, fragrances that are more like vintage smelling. I'm a big fan of, so please don't come for me. I'm not telling you guys that you have to wear these fragrances in your 20s, but you get the gist. These are just my recommendations for the perfect fragrances for your 20s. By the way, before we go on, I have women and men. So I have five for women, five for men, um, and I'm really happy with my choices. If I had a friend of mine that came up to me, boy or girl, and they said, Demi, recommend me five fragrances, and they're in their 20s, these would be like my five recommendations for the guy or girl. So let's start out with the women. The first fragrance that I'm going to recommend is probably very predictable to you guys just because I talk about this one a lot and I love it. This one is actually Delina Exclusive from Parfum de Mali. Now the reason that I'm recommending Delina Exclusive and not the original is because this one is a little bit more intense and it's a little bit sweeter. It almost has like a more syrupy more syrupy, more fruity, more sweet vanillic touch to it. And I've noticed, personally, I've noticed that a lot of girls in the younger years, like the 20s, like their sweeter fragrances. I've definitely noticed, obviously you can tell that by the fragrance market, every single fragrance that comes out in the designer realm is just sweet and syrupy and headachey, but this is sweet in the best way possible. It's not too sweet. It's not overly anything. It is just absolutely perfection. It is just femininity in a bottle. Like it is just hands down one of the most beautiful fragrances that I have in my collection. It's rose, it's lychee, it's vanilla, but it's just so smooth and so creamy and sweet. It's a beautiful floral, but it does have that kind of gourmand edge to it, as well as being kind of creamy as well and a little bit fruity and syrupy. So it's just the perfect blend in a fragrance and if you want to spend that extra coin in your 20s this is 100% where I'd put it. So Delina exclusive from Parfum de Mali. I know that that one was a predictable one. The next fragrance that I'm going to talk about is one from Balenciaga and this fragrance is called Flora Botanica. Again I've talked about this one quite a lot but to me this is the perfect fragrance for your 20s. If you're a working girl in your 20s maybe you have an office job, maybe you have I don't know, you're just a working girl in your 20s, maybe you're an Instagram model, whatever you're doing, this fragrance is so perfect. I love this one a lot personally, you can see I've worn a lot of this one because, oh my god, it is just beautiful. It's fresh, it's crisp, it's a little bit juicy, it's a bit dewy, it's a rose fragrance again, but it is not the same rose as Delina. It is a lot fresher, it's almost got a little bit of a watery touch to it, and also a little bit of a mintiness. It does actually feature the note of cannabis, but I don't smell the cannabis at all. It kind of just has a little bit of a fresh garden sort of smell to it, but not too much where it's like off-putting. My favourite thing about this fragrance is the longevity is epic, and when I say epic, this lasts like a 12 hour day. Like it is crazy how long this fragrance lasts on your skin. My mum wears this one as well. She will go to work at like 9am and come home at 6pm and I can still smell this fragrance projecting off of her and I'm not exaggerating. I wouldn't say that about a lot of fragrances but Flora Botanica has epic longevity. So love that fragrance. I really recommend it for your 20s. I think it's very like it's fresh and it's like kind of effortlessly beautiful and I love fragrances like that. Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Why do I love this one so much? <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. To me, this one is absolutely perfect for a woman in her 20s. Maybe more of a night out fragrance, maybe more of like a, a seductive kind of fragrance. Now this one to me is quite unique. Carolina Herrera is a designer, but it's definitely more of a unique designer fragrance than what you smell a lot nowadays. You smell La Vie Belle, Parker Urban, um, 
I don't know, Chloe's, the Ellie Saab or Eli Saab, they all kind of smell very sweet, very girly and stuff, but this one to me is a lot more of a unique feminine designer fragrance. Yeah, it is a white floral, but there's definitely a more unique touch to it and a little bit more of a masculine vibe to it. It also features the note of tonka bean, which I really smell the tonka in here, and also cacao, which I definitely get the cacao as well. So it's kind of like a white floral mixed with like this uh, masculine kind of tonka bean um, cacao note to it and it just to me is really beautiful very sexy and very seductive kind of fragrance so I definitely recommend this one in your 20s Carolina Herrera good girl Okay, so the next one is Mugler's Alien. Now, some of you guys have tried this and you absolutely hate it, and others absolutely fall in love with it just like I did. I used to not be the biggest fan of Alien, but now it's a fragrance that I just... I just love it and every time, like almost every single time I wear Alien, somebody compliments me and I'm not going to lie, it's mostly from guys. Like literally every time I wear this, a guy says, you smell absolutely incredible. Like I don't even get the just, oh, you smell really nice or something. It's like you smell insane. I've never smelled anything like that before and that is from Alien. So to me, Alien is an indolic jasmine with some amber. It's very unique and I'm never going to be able to explain exactly how it smells. You're just going to have to test it for yourself, walk around, spray it on your skin and you will either love it or absolutely hate it. But to me, Alien is perfect for everyone, but especially a woman in her 20s. Um, maybe even more for the night out, date night sort of thing. Alien is so, so good. This fragrance has definitely grown on me since I first got it. This is from Lancome and this is La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. Now, this is a flanker to one of my favourite, old favourite fragrances, La Nuit Trésor. This is the flanker that came out. And when I first smelled this fragrance, I was really underwhelmed. And I would still say, to be honest with you guys, it's nothing mind-blowing, but... It really does smell good to me. It is a lot more round and creamier and a little bit more kind of warm and rounded out than the original Lanwe Trezor. And I feel like if you didn't like the original, you will really like this one. It's a little bit more warm and creamy and sweet and a little bit more edible, whereas the uh, Lanwe Trezor which I used to wear all the time, is a lot more sharp and aggressive. This one kind of sits a little bit more like yummy and cozy and creamy, which I really, there's a hair on my face right now. I really have come around to loving this fragrance and I have had a lot of compliments surprisingly on this one as well as the original but this one is definitely getting me a lot of compliments now that I'm wearing it more and more. It took me a while but I finally have come around and I actually really love this fragrance and highly highly recommend it especially if you like kind of sweeter gourmand scents so check out La Nuit Trésor à la Folie. So time for the men. Now, these are my five recommendations for men in their 20s. Like I said, you can wear whatever you want, like absolutely anything that you want, but if I could only recommend five fragrances to a guy in his 20s, these would be the five. So I'm going to start out with this bad boy. Did you guys expect this one? This is Versace Eros and this is great. I've had a lot of you guys ask me what I think about this fragrance and I really, really love this one. I kind of hate to admit that I love this one because it's very popular and it's a bit more of like a playboy kind of fragrance, but I can't lie. Yeah, I have to suck it up and be honest with you guys. I think this smells really sexy. I actually smelled it quite a lot where I live and in like the more clubs and stuff like that. I have smelt Versace Eros and I do compliment a guy if he's wearing it because it does smell really, really good. It does have a sweetness there. There's definitely vanilla. There's tonka bean in here, but it's kind of almost got a freshness. There is mint in here, which I really love, like a freshness, a spiciness, and a sweetness to a fragrance, and that is exactly what Versace Eros has. It still smells quite fresh, but it has that little, like, edibleness to it that kind of makes you want to, like, come closer. It does have that to it, that kind of addictive sort of sweetness, but not being too sweet. It's definitely not like Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Male, which I can't deal with how sweet that fragrance is. It's just a little bit too syrupy, a little bit too sweet, and they've kind of crushed the freshness of that fragrance. It's totally not there. Whereas Versace Eros does it right, it still has the freshness, the sweetness, and the little bit of the spiciness. So love that one. I highly recommend that for a guy in his 20s. Like this, this is the 20s. Like this is the 20s right here. So Versace Eros. 
Okay, you guys, I'm sure that you expected this one, but for me, this one is perfect for all men. Like, they're all perfect for every single guy in this world. But if I could recommend it to a specific age range, I would say Chanel Allure Om Sport O Extreme is phenomenal for a guy in his 20s. This is the 20s signature scent. If you're a guy, you want a signature scent and you're in your 20s, this is my recommendation. Again, fresh, kind of got that mintiness there. It's also got orange and a beautiful tonka bean note that kind of makes it a little bit sweet and also a little bit creamy, but it's still definitely got that kind of fresh out of the shower smell to it. I love it a lot and I would definitely, definitely recommend this for a guy in his 20s. Um, another fragrance that kind of reminds me of this one is Parfum de Mali Percival. They do smell quite similar. I just thought that I would kind of mention that because whenever I smell each of them, they kind of remind me a little bit of each other. But if I could recommend you guys one, it would be the Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. So definitely, this is like the signature scent for a guy in his 20s. Okay. <laughs> The next fragrance here is Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme. Now, this fragrance to me is perfection. A lot of you guys always want me to say which one I prefer out of La Nuit de L'Homme versus L'Homme. Possibly La Nuit de L'Homme just a little bit more just because it's a little bit more intense and a little bit more sensual, whereas this one is just kind of a bit fresher. It just smells like perfection to me. Like, this smells like the perfect 20-year-old guy. He does nothing wrong. He's really hot and he's a sweet, sweet guy. Kind of fresh, a little bit citrusy, a little bit spicy, kind of clean as well. It's almost got a little bit of a cleanness to it as well and very elegant. This fragrance to me is very, very elegant and I really do love it. So I highly recommend this for a guy in his 20s. Like I said, guys, both La Nuit de L'Homme and L'Homme are great, but if I could only recommend one to a guy in his 20s, I would recommend L'Homme for sure. It just smells beautiful and perfect and it smells like the good guy. The good guy that you're supposed to marry. This is it here. Yep. At this stage, I don't even really have to talk about this fragrance for very long because you guys already know how I feel about this one. I do feel bad recommending this one so much, but it's just because I genuinely love this fragrance to death. Like, I love this fragrance more... I can't even, uh, I just, I can't even express how much I love this one. I even sprayed this on me to go to bed the other night just because I wanted that smell around me. And I know that that's like kind of like a weird thing to say, but I just love it that much. So that is how I feel about this fragrance. This is Parfum de Mali Layton. So many of you guys have bought this one because of me and I have had so many, like, when I say so many, I mean so many emails, messages, comments, DMs about people that have bought this fragrance, men that have bought this fragrance, and they absolutely adore it. So I'm really happy that you guys love it as much as I do. Um, you guys already know Leighton. It's a creamy sandalwood base, like a woody base, but it's got that beautiful apple, vanilla, cardamom on top. It's a little bit spicy. It really does have this kind of creamy sandalwood woody base to it but with that beautiful, sexy, seductive sweetness on top that just drives me absolutely crazy. There's still a bit of a freshness there. It's not like a heavy, dense fragrance, but it is very, very strong. Let me just say that. Like L'Homme, a lot of people talk about the longevity, but I don't really care. Like, I don't care about the longevity of this fragrance. It smells phenomenal. You can just overspray it, spray it in your hair, and it will last. It smells phenomenal, whereas Leighton has, like, absolutely incredible longevity. You can smell it on your clothes, on your skin, in your hair, like days later. It's got really good longevity, so it is worth its money in my personal opinion. So Parfum de Mali Leighton, hands down, is perfect for a guy in his 20s. I think it smells really sexy and, like I said, just perfect. And then the final fragrance for a guy in his 20s. Now this is more of the bad boy. This is a guy who's a little bit of a player, like Versace Eros, but this guy is a little bit... this guy's a little bit bad. Like, he's a little bit of a bad person. <laughs> it is Carolina Herrera CH Men Privé. Now, to me, oh, it is so, so sexy, you guys. Like, I absolutely love this fragrance so much. It is sexy, leather, boozy, spicy, sweet, 
but really, really sexy. Like, sexy is the word for this fragrance. And like I said, it's more for a bad boy, whereas Lom is for a good boy. This is for the bad boy in his 20s who parties a little bit too much, drinks a little bit too much, and uses women a little bit too much, if you know what I'm saying. Like, this is for that guy. So, Carolina Herrera, CH Men Privé. I love this fragrance so much, and it definitely, to me, reminds me of just, like I said, a bit of a bit of a loose cannon in his 20s. This is that fragrance. So yeah. Anyways, that is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a longer one, but these were my five recommendations for men and women for fragrances in their 20s. Now, like I said earlier, and I feel silly for making the disclaimer because I feel like you guys know me by now. Fragrances for everyone. Honestly, guys, you can literally wear these fragrances in your 70s. I don't care and nobody cares. Everybody just wants to smell good and that's what I'm here to try and help you guys to achieve. Like the... <laughs> that sounds so lame. I'm here to help you guys out if you're a bit lost and you don't really know what's appropriate for you or something like that. These were my recommendations for people in their 20s. I don't wear fragrances for other people. I used to. Like when I was younger, I used to wear fragrances to please other people around me and get compliments. I don't do that anymore. Like I said, I literally like more older fragrances that smell vintage. Like I really, really love vintage fragrances at the moment. So I don't care what I wear and you shouldn't care what you wear. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you soon. Bye.